There are two days dedicated to thankfulness in the month of uh, November. One is certainly Thanksgiving and the other one is a Veterans Day uh, uh, coming up and we just share our gratitude and this event is sort of relating to that and man, there's a lot of things to talk about here and there's a great cause behind this magnificent gourd we see here. The world's largest pumpkin has now been created or turned into the world's largest jack-o'-lantern with local artist Eric Jones. Thank nice you. to see you. How are you nice doing? Nice to see you. I'm doing great. We've seen your amazing work with snow sculptures and a variety of media. How does pumpkin relate as a medium? Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Jeez. Um, <laughs> on the cup. All right. Um, a blast. Uh, this was so much fun to make. The entire thing is pumpkin, even the dog. Oh, man. How long did it take? Uh, it's between 16 and 20 hours uh -huh. between carving and paint. Yeah. Uh, Guinness has certified this as the largest pumpkin in, in the history of mankind. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you you got to feel proud. Now, now the world's largest jack-o'-lantern in the history of the world. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Um, but really, I mean, I'm honored to have this opportunity, but it's really about the veterans. Absolutely. Yeah. That must be a, a, a terrific cause behind this. I'm sure that that certainly inspired you. Anytime you can create anything that honors our veterans. I mean, I'm carving pumpkins. I'm a huge nine-year-old. So <laughs> I, when you can carve pumpkins for a living, that's brought to you by the sacrifices that are made. Well, thank you for doing everything you do. And of thank course, uh, thanks to the veterans. And now this, so here's, here's what you need to do to come here and see this. This is at the, the Great Pumpkin Farm of, Clor of course, Main Street in Clarence. Uh, come on by, pay $5. Of course, take your picture with the world's largest jack-o'-lantern, uh, the formerly the world's largest pumpkin. Uh, and there are two benefactors. There's Tunnels to Towers, uh, which benefits Gold Star families and the families of uh, uh, fallen first, res uh, first responders, and also uh, Positive Heroes, giving service dogs to uh, uh, men and women that have served. So come on by. Uh, we're hoping to have us here through the weekend as well, uh, 5.30. Uh, through about 8 p.m. or so uh, now through Sunday.